contacts and SPF on. I don't know how I'm going right now. And luckily I laid out all of my clothes that I need to put on because we're doing a hot yoga class. Six degrees outside. I literally had no idea. I thought it was gonna be 65. I'm gonna be cold, but we honestly do not have time to change. Okay, I'm so glad that I chose a chilly day though to go to a hot yoga class. Hot yoga classes are actually my favorite thing for like a nice fall crisp morning because it just feels so relaxing so i normally just put on my ugg little clog things and then i'll grab my keys fast make sure to apply a lot of road and take a few sips of water i'm basically just rolling out of bed and going to this <laughs> we don't want my lips to be dry and then i also need to grab a towel because it gets insanely sweaty and of course my yoga mat and we're off Way back. That was tough guys, not gonna lie, but it feels so amazing afterwards and fall is just the perfect weather for a hot yoga class. It makes me wanna do it like literally every day, but they say you should only do maximum three hot yoga classes a week. I typically only do one hot yoga class a week, but I might start implementing it more just because it feels so good. And it's not like majorly hot outside, but afterwards you really gotta make sure to hydrate because when you have a morning hot yoga class, it's hard to hydrate before. And especially if you're a coffee drinker, you gotta keep up the hydration. So that starts now and it's such a gorgeous day. I'm so excited for fall and this is a fall morning routine in my life. So just some inspo for your own fall morning routine. I know sometimes people can get into like the fall blues because the end of summer is just kind of sad, but I think having like a really fun morning routine and like getting back in a schedule really helps tackle fall because it's just nice to have those routine moments. I feel like that just really grounds you whenever you're feeling sad or anxious or whatever. So that's what helps me. So this is gonna be my fall routine. I hope you take some inspo from it, but definitely comment like your own fall morning routine or night routine ideas down below so we can all support each other in this journey. Typically after a hot yoga class, I'll have a Go Macro Bar. I'm obsessed with the oatmeal chocolate chip flavor. It's heavenly. So I'm gonna have a little bit of this 
And oh, an important step that I do at the yoga studio. So uh, yoga makes me really sweaty, but you might not think my face looks that sweaty even though it looks really red right now. But basically before I leave the hot yoga studio, like right after class is over, I'll go to the bathroom and wash my hands because they're just like sticky, gross, sweaty, dirty. And then I'll like wipe my face off with water. I don't bring like a face wash or anything because I'm gonna wash it once I get home, but just to like get all that sweat off because they have acne prone skin and I don't want that sweat to like stick to my face. So that's an important part of the morning routine. And I'm gonna go ahead and have my supplements too, before I forget. <laughs> so whenever I have morning workouts, I barely have time to do anything before them because I'm just like rolling out the door as fast as I can. So I just kind of do everything when I come back. <laughs> and yes, I do have to take my supplements with applesauce. You guys, I just like literally never got over this. And that's okay, you know? All right, it is low key a mess behind me. So we'll have a lot of stuff to clean up after my shower but the most important thing is trying to shower as soon as possible after working out just because again like so much sweat gets trapped up in like your sports bra and stuff and it's just good to get all of that out as i'm sure you guys know <laughs> another reason why i don't do hot yoga all the time is because my hair is damaged so i'm trying to wash it less because that's kind of how you're supposed to fix damage besides it just growing out and pretty much after every hot yoga class unless the teacher just like didn't crank up the heat enough i need to wash my hair because it gets so sweaty so we're gonna wash the hair i actually shaved last night so i don't need to shave but since i'm going into the office tomorrow and i'm working from home today i'll probably put on some self tanner when i get out which is honestly a really important part of the fall morning routine because i feel like something that comes with fall is less sun so we all look so much paler and if that doesn't bother you then like obviously no need to change it but i just love how i feel and look when i'm tan it just feels very natural to me because my body tans very easily in the summer so i'm trying this year to be more religious about putting on my self tanner because it just makes me feel so much better even though like it's kind of a lot of effort and it's annoying to do i'm just trying to do it more because it really does make me feel a lot more confident in myself because in the summer when i have a fresh tan i just feel so confident and just because it's not summer like i don't want to lose that feeling this is for the girls that don't live in los angeles us midwestern gals all right so i'm gonna wash my hair and then i always just wash my face in the shower because it's easier oh and i also put on like a fun podcast or fun music so basic but i've been so obsessed with noah khan so i'm gonna put him on or podcast if i see something good came out today sometimes like right in the morning like when i'm showering i like to go for more of a music vibe to get in like a good spirit i love the morning mix on spotify too and then other times I'll like to do more of like a businessy podcast, like not not a for fun night podcast, but more so just like a podcast where people are talking about like something somewhat intellectual to like start getting my brain stimulated, but I still have some time before the work day, so I don't have to get in that zone yet. So we might put on some Noah Khan. <laughs> such a vibe right now listening to phoebe bridgers i brushed out my hair and i put this sun bomb leave-in treatment in it just smells really good makes me feel like i'm on the beach <laughs> so i washed my face in the shower this is what i use la roche passe hydrating cleanser and then when i came out i just did my skincare like really quickly <laughs> i forgot to film it but i used la roche passe ultra soothing repair moisturizer and then i use this eye cream from m61 Hydro Boost Water Eye Cream with Collagen and Peptide. It just helps like moisturize my eyes and I hope it's for anti-aging. I also put moisturizer on my neck. And then, I actually don't remember if I did my SPF yet. So that means we just have to do it again. It's from Elta MD. I am obsessed with this stuff. This is probably my favorite skincare item I've ever owned. Favorite SPF hands down. And this is just good for like a clear base. I do use the Super Goop sunscreen, but that's more like I use it as a primer, not really for its like SPF benefits. So put this everywhere. And if I already put it on, it's like not a big deal. <laughs> you can never over SPF. And then I'm gonna put some on my neck too. So now I'm ready to do my self tanner. So I don't actually moisturize before my self tanner. I'll moisturize like later after I wash it off. I realize that moisturizing makes it really streaky. So I use Bondi Sans as of now. I kind of like switch out my self tanner all the time. And then I also have this mitt, which really helps. So I will be back in a second after I put this on. <laughs> 
All right, the self tanning is done. I always like to put on this free people movement shirt after I self tan just because it's the only like dark t-shirt that I have. And I'm just gonna throw on this set over it because it still is pretty chilly outside to go on my little coffee walk. Honestly, I have been so into buying coffee. It kind of started over the summer because I just wanted to spend as much time outside as possible. And I kind of want to continue that into the fall. I don't know if I'll continue it in the winter just because it's going to be so freezing. I just love going outside and my rationale for buying coffee is that it's about like $5, probably a little bit more, but that's how much it costs me to take the CTA into the city. And on days that I'm working from home, I don't have that like walking out and like going somewhere. So I just use my little coffee walk as an excuse to do that so that's what we're gonna do today so that's my rationale <laughs> it can justify anything for spending seven dollars on a latte every single day but whenever i do go into the office i actually don't buy a latte because they have coffee at the office so that's my rationale it honestly just makes me really happy i'm sure i, I might reevaluate if i learn like a good way to make my own coffee here but i kind of just like trying new coffees especially in the fall too because I can go get the fall menu from so many places. I feel like all the coffee shops here just have the best fall menus. And I think I'm gonna hit a block home today because I love their pumpkin spice oat milk draft latte. It's the best. Yeah, but also Starbucks is good. Like, there's so many good options. But yeah, let me make the bed and get organized a little bit before going on my coffee walk. <laughs> Okay, we're all ready to go on the coffee walk. Let's have a nice, crisp fall morning walk. It was so nice. So I ended up getting a hot drink because I was so fucking hot walking over there. I mean, no, what am I saying? You guys, clearly my brain hasn't woken up yet, actually. It was so fucking cold walking over there. I was like, I cannot carry a nice drink back and drink that. Like, I need something warm. Now, of course, I'm hot again. I ended up getting a cappuccino with oat milk and whatever their pumpkin spice like syrup is. And it's so good. I honestly love it. I feel like it tastes super natural it doesn't taste like crazy sugary which i really like i still have a few more minutes before i need to like get to my desk and like plan up my day do my affirmations and all that stuff we have an extensive morning routine you guys so before that i'm gonna clean up because i like try to do it at night before i go to bed but so many times i don't so i just like to do a little reset in the morning before getting to work because it just helps me like clear my mind like if my space is clear, my mind is clear. So I have clothes to put up, dishes to put up, and just like a few things to tidy up. I need to search and see if I have more paper towels, like just like random stuff like that. So let's do that before we log on.
we are done cleaning so it's time to do my little work from home makeup routine all i do is just put on some glow screen and then a little bit of concealer unless i have like a really important call or something and i want to look super nice but for the most part things are pretty casual i actually don't even really have that many meetings today so we're gonna put on this glow screen i feel like it just gives me a nice little shimmer shine and color i also just feel like some days i don't put on any makeup at all which you know is probably really good for my skin but i just feel like i feel less confident and put together and i feel like the morning routine is just about you know making myself feel grounded ready for the day and put together and confident so if taking like five minutes to just do the tiniest bit of makeup before I'm working from home is another way I can just feel more confident and put together then I'm gonna do it. So I'll just put this on all over. I love this stuff. And then I take some NARS concealer, also obsessed with this stuff. And I don't really have any breakouts because of Accutane, but I still have a lot of acne scars. So I'll just put a little bit of concealer on my big acne scars and then also some concealer under my eyes just to brighten up the dark circles a little bit and then we will dab that in i also do want to start gua shaing and adding that into my skincare routine which i'll probably do after showering but i'm holding off on doing that just because my skin is still really sensitive from accutane but i do want to start like sculpting my face i think that would be really good the last couple things i do i always end up getting a lot of makeup on my lips when i put that on so i just take a q-tip and wipe that off so my natural lip color comes out i used to think that my lips were so much like fainter just because i would always have makeup on them and i want to wipe it off after putting on my makeup so that's a crucial step and then i put some more road on and then i'll just comb through my eyebrows really quickly i need to get them threaded soon they are growing out quite a bit and then voila that's the look very chill i normally just let my hair kind of air dry throughout the day because it's casual save the styling for tomorrow when i'm going into the office so that's my little makeup look and now let's go log on to the computer and organize all of my tasks for the day do my affirmations and all that stuff now once i get to my desk i usually like to light a candle just for the vibes i need to order like a new fall candle this is your sign to do that because there's nothing like that like apple crisp smell or pumpkin whatever you like but i just love like embracing the season like we gotta we gotta have a fall scent up in here this one is kind of fall vibes it's like an outdoorsy scent this candle has seen better days though and it might not work i might need to order a new candle actually but <laughs> Still have the vibes here. So basically what I do to start the day is I open up my work laptop and my personal laptop. And basically I start just kind of checking all of my emails from work, checking my calendar, making sure I know everything that's going on today, just to like double check that I'm not behind anything. Meanwhile, I'm trying to like chug this water. <laughs> and then I'll plan my like personal day, just like anything I need to get done after work is over or like during my lunch break, just to make sure I'm all set with that too. So I basically do that in Notion under my daily to-do section. So like today after work, I want to post all of my clothes on Poshmark because I want to sell them to you guys. I like went through my closet a couple weeks ago and I've been putting off posting my clothes on Poshmark because it just takes a lot of time but that's gonna be on my daily to do oh I totally forgot I have an acting seminar tonight so that's on my daily to do mm, I'm so excited for that let's see I'm gonna want to edit a TikTok let's do a coffee TikTok tonight I already did like all of the sort of cleaning stuff I need to do and then I need to work on editing youtube video and then that just gives me like a snapshot of the day which makes me feel super organized and then i open up my poppy notebook and i basically love just writing down here affirmations and what i'm grateful for the date at the top and then i write affirmations honestly like the most simple thing it takes like three minutes but i just feel like it really helps center myself and make me feel confident for the day and basically what i do is i just affirm like things i want to feel today how i want to show up for today and also just like long-term goals that are in the back of my mind so one of those is i have 10k instagram followers <laughs> i have 50k youtube subscribers i am confident i am articulate i am 
happy. I am fun. I am safe. Just like so many affirmations, like whatever comes to mind. And that's like super positive. And I like to write down a few things that I'm grateful for. I feel like starting my day with gratitude just puts everything into perspective because like at the end of the day, like life is so unserious. Like it is serious, but little things that pop up through my day that give me so much anxiety or like stress me out so much at work. It's like at the end of the day, I'm living, I'm breathing, I'm here. Like I have so much to be grateful for. Like I'm grateful for my body. I'm grateful for my relationships. I'm grateful to have a safe place to live. And we just need to remember that sometimes because sometimes I feel like if you start the morning and you don't take the time to like be grateful for everything in your life, you can start feeling bad for yourself or start feeling like, I don't know, like your life sucks when really it doesn't. You can just get like so caught up in like the day-to-day -day things. So I really like to write this down. I feel like my days are so much better when I remember to do this. So I'm gonna say I'm grateful for my apartment. I am grateful for being able to walk. I am grateful for my yoga studio, getting to move my body there. I am grateful i get to buy myself coffee like it can be like literally the littlest things i'm grateful for my long distance friends yay okay and then i just like to write down like some sort of mantra like i can take on the day and achieve my dreams Yay! The next thing I like to do, so in Notion, I have like a list of daily habits that I'm trying to implement every single day. 10,000 steps a day, drink a lot of water, which we're doing. Grateful for and affirmations, which we did. And another big thing I'm trying to do every single morning is... Oh, I got a voicemail. Oh, it's from Orange Theory. <laughs> you guys, Orange Theory calls me so frequently, like they need to not. Like, I love you, Orange Theory. We had a moment, <laughs> but it's just... Not my thing right now. Maybe in the future, but it's just so funny. They keep calling me. I've been trying to do the New York Times mini crossword puzzle every single day because honestly, guys, like everyone I know does it so much faster than me. And I'm like, okay, I need to exercise that part of my brain more because it's embarrassing how slow I am at this thing. And you know, it's just, it's good to exercise your brain in that way. And I'm just trying to get faster at these crossword puzzles and like increase my vocab and just exercise that sort of side of my brain which i guess i don't get doing advertising this is like a little intellectual goal of mine and it it should take a minute sometimes it takes me more like five minutes but you know let's do our crossword puzzle okay you guys i'm done with my crossword puzzle that took me an embarrassingly long amount of time but we gotta start exercising our brains in the morning and like challenging ourselves and over time hopefully in like a few months it won't be so hard and I'm like used to solving those puzzles. That's your sign to incorporate some sort of like challenge in your morning routine. Like even though it's hard, I feel like doing those habits every single day can really benefit you over time. Even if it's not anything crazy, but just like, you know, as we get older, it's something to think about. Just like exercising your mind is so important because we're not in school anymore. And like a lot of the times at our jobs, like there are challenges, but it's kind of the same sort of stuff that you see every day. So I think incorporating something new is really exciting and good for you. Yeah, now I'm ready to officially like be at my computer for a long time. Luckily I have a walking pad so I can like walk during the workday, which is the best thing ever. Yeah, that is my fall morning routine. I've been loving listening to my autumn Spotify mix this morning. It just it really captures the vibes. I'm obsessed with these Spotify mixes. So shout out to those if you haven't seen them yet. I've just been listening to this one called Autumn Mix. Noah Khan, Lana Del Rey, 1975, Taylor Swift, PB Bridgers, Olivia Rodrigo, Lord. It's just, it's the best combination of like all my favorite artists and it just, it has me in my feels. <laughs> so shout out Spotify. Yeah, thanks for watching this morning routine. Short and sweet, but I feel like it really helps me get going for the day. And I hope this gave you some fall inspo. Again, comment what your favorite like morning routine habit is so we can all give each other ideas and support each other. So much fun hanging out with you guys this cozy fall morning. I'm so excited for fall and all the content. Fall is gonna be amazing. Like I, I really can't wait. I'm excited for this new chapter and to get more in a routine. So yay! Subscribe for new videos every Sunday and Wednesday if you haven't. I'm Lucia. I don't think I ever introduced myself in this whole video. But yeah, love you guys. Bye!